Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl Veronica Scopish and I'm back again. So guys, stay with me. Yeah, guys, if you know not subscribed to this channel, just take a second, click the subscription button, like, also share. <laughs> so guys, go with me. I'm going to send Scholastica. Zima Hospital. It is located um, in Survey. Yeah, that's where I'm going for my checkup. Yeah. So guys, go with me and stay with me. I'm going with Harvey. He's taking me there today. Yeah. I don't know if you will have to know the gender today, but me just want a surprise gender reveal. So I don't. I don't want to know. Who is in there <laughs> yeah but i'll be crud yeah go with me guys bye bye let's go So it's a single gestation, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, so we start here. We show the surrogates, which is this part here. We show that it's closed, and you see the amniotic fluid, no continuation. So that is good. And then we come and show the placenta, which is this one here. 
right failure. So then we can say the placenta is noted posteriorly and uh, it's away from the cervix, which is good. Eh? Yes, and the cervix is closed. This is the internal cause, the external cause is there. Because of the nature, it's already more than three, so you can which is good. Eh? Yeah, and this is the amniotic wave. Okay, now we start looking at the baby, uh, starting off by looking at assessing on the head. Eh? So that's the feet on the head, the whole of this eh? is the feet on the head. And uh, behind here is this bright thing. So we call that the cerebellum out of brain. This part and this part we call it the thalamus. And where they have the three lines is the third ventral fossa. So that means the brain is well developed. There is no cyst, no lesion, no tender. So what we always do is we measure to know the exact gestational age. Starting off with the uh, head diameter, <coughs> and then we put the head circumference. Eh? So both measurements have given us some estimations. Eh? But he will tell me. Really? Anataka me ni juu ataki kujua. Eh. Tuta bet. So to a kile bet. Mimi ndo najua sasa. So next thing is we look at the neck region and the spine. So this is the neck. So behind there we assess using color like that to locate for that cord. This is where the flow is. Eh? So that's where the cord is. So uh, it's nowhere closer to the neck area. It's just somewhere not behind there, but not that close. Eh? Yes, and uh, to be sure of that, you just tug on the neck like this. You see, there is no, no flow there. Yes. So there is no cord around there. So the, the, the rest, we show the rest of the spine like that. So it's like a continuation. No? Sure. All the way like that to the end. So that's the spinal cord. Eh? Yeah. And it's all outlined. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are no bifurcations that uh, not there. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that's going to the next video. Next thing is we come to the chest cavity. Within the chest, we see the heart. Eh? Yes. So we turn on that heart and assess to see whether it's well developed. So for the heart, we always look at the four chambers. Eh? And if you count with me, you can see there are four divisions. Eh? Yes. So that is good. It means uh, the two are the ventricle and the two are the atrium. Mm -hmm. That is okay. And then slightly lower from the heart, we we'll come to the level of the abdomen, whereby we measure this as abdominal circumference. Uh, so all these measurements are giving us an estimation of the fetal age. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we use that. We say that the dark thing is the stomach, this one here. Mm -hmm. And it's good to show that because uh, the baby should be the one swallowing fluid eh? yeah, to 
regulate the levels. So here we see the dark area and the bright area. You see that? Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, so the dark area and the bright one, this separation we call it the diaphragm. Eh? So that's the diaphragm to separate the chest from the abdomen. On this side here, we see the bottom vein. Eh? Mm -hmm. If you use color, you see this black flow. Mm -hmm. yeah, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means that's the liver on that side. And slightly below the stomach, the stomach is here, so below it, we see two dark areas. Yeah? So those ones are kidneys, and there's no hydronephrosis. These are these, yeah? no dilated ureter. So if we go down to the lower limbs, eh? mm -hmm. we expect to see urine to confirm that the renal system is functional. Right? Mm -hmm. So that, that thing there mm -hmm. is the baby's urine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is good. Mm -hmm. Which means he remains in the stomach. Yes. Na kujua tu hapo hapo. Na na kunyo. Na ikunyo. Exactly. Na piga sip. Yes. It's a cycle. Uh huh. So then the next thing to capture is this bone. So the complex thing. So that bone is what we call the femur. any faster mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 